Thanks, Jim. Time is almost up for local F1 organizers to reach a deal with F1 boss Bernie Ecclestone. He's given local organizers until tomorrow to come up with a huge chunk of money and to sign an agreement. Now, many in the auto racing world say the Austin race is as good as dead, and that could mean trouble for some local businesses that were counting on the race. KXAN's Reagan Hackleman joins us live from the side of the track with more. Reagan. Well, Leslie, this time tomorrow we should know the fate of Austin's F1 race and the track itself. Construction stopped about two weeks ago, and there's a very good chance it will not start back up again. Now, local race organizers have until tomorrow to come up with a reported $300 million in funding to secure the rights to Formula One over the next 10 years. Many in the motorsport community simply say that will not happen, meaning Austin's Formula One race will be over before it even starts. If that happens, some local businesses say they're going to find a class action lawsuit against Formula One. Warren Peck is the owner of one of those businesses. He owns Races to You, a portable slot car racing track. He started the business about a year and a half ago, and he says the business started booming after it was announced that F1 was coming to Austin. Even though he says his business will survive without F1, he says there are plenty of businesses that were relying on F1 coming to Austin in order to survive. He and about a dozen of those businesses now say if the race falls through, they're going to file that lawsuit. Nobody wants a lawsuit. I don't want a lawsuit. Nobody involved wants a lawsuit. We all want to see Formula One here in Austin. Uh, this is really to give impetus to the players involved to, to hopefully go beyond their egos and, and the economics and realize that there's something much larger at stake. Now, we did try and talk to local Formula One organizers today through their local public relations firm, but we were told they are not answering questions and they are not issuing a statement this evening. Of course, be sure to check on KXAN.com tomorrow for the latest on the F1 developments. Reporting live from near Elroy, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.